Hello Bloggineers, today we're going to unbox Chronicles of Crime 2400 by Lucky Duck Games. Oh yeah we are! This is part of the Millennium series and it's the sequel to Chronicles of Crime. Now the original Chronicles of Crime game is a mystery solving game where you have to solve a crime that takes place in the present, but now we're in the future. Chronicles of Crime has versions that are in the past and the future. This is the year 2400, brother. Are you going to be alive? No. The Chronicles of Crime also has another version of the game called Kids Chronicle Quest for the Moonstone. It is for younger players and also if Chronicles of Crime is scary for you, this has no scary stuff at all. Back to the 2400 game, let's look at the bottom. It's for ages 12 and up, takes 60 to 90 minutes, and it's for 1 to 4 players. Alright, on the back. A story-driven cooperative game like no other. It's the year 2400 and you are Kalia Label. You once dreamed of fighting crime as a highly trained cyber agent, but it quickly becomes obvious that the corp you worked for only cared about their bottom line. So you quit and left the privileges of the elite Bell Corps forces behind. Now, without your badge and stripped of your cyber implants, you need to solve crimes all on your own. It says this game requires a free app to play, and once downloaded, no internet connection is needed. Also, this is a standalone game, which means you do not need the original Chronicles of Crime to play. You don't. <laughs> what? Is that a new line? Okay. Yeah. Here, right there, open. Oopsies, you drop. Inside is the rule book. This is the evidence board over here. Wow, look at the back. This is the implants board, and maybe this is where you can upgrade your character with implants. Like in the future, there could be a robotic eye or, uh, I don't know, microchip, something else. Okay. Um, you're blocking my whole body. Okay, Here there are seven double-sided location boards. Oh. Oh. And from the original game, I remember that you can scan these QR codes to travel to the location. It will show up on your phone or device. When you scan this QR code on the phone, there will be a virtual reality where you can move your phone screen or device like this and look for clues. The rest of this game just has cards, so we'll open those. Stop saying no, that. No, that time was my shirt. Okay, hey, boy who cried wolf. Ow! Ow! Here there's one raven card and 40 character cards. Each of the character has a number on the top left corner. You see? And it goes all the way up to 40. And on the characters are QR codes where you can scan it to talk to them from your device. Oh yeah! Here there are four implant cards. Want to see the implants? Here, hold these tightly. What are implants? Are hold they, them tightly. Are they plants that can go inside? Here there are four implant cards and you can place them on here to make her become a cyborg. So for example, this is an ear and her ear is here. So if I put it over, Okay, now she has another metal thing over here. It just looks like this. Any okay, here's another example with her eye. Oh, okay, here. Ah. So by putting these implant cards on her, it seems like you get special powers. For example, the vision one, maybe you can see certain clues. Okay, next. We have 15 special item cards over here. Whoa, that's a skull. Look how futuristic these are. Okay. Lastly, here are 38 evidence category cards, like food. Food! Papers. Papers. Let's go to a random one. Uh, tableware. Tableware. Uh, I'll see if there's like super interesting. These just seem to be ordinary everyday items because they're called evidence category cards, so it's where you can look to find pieces of evidence. Alright? And that's 
it, for this expansion. That's it. It's not expansion. Oh. All right, and that's it for this version of Chronicles of Crime. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.